All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Colt 556 bolt carrier group. Just comes in this clear plastic bag and nothing really special as far as that goes. And it also is going to be kind of covered in this preservative oil. Here in a minute, I will uh, try to wipe all that off. But yeah, this is just your standard Colt bolt carrier group. And as you can see, right there is the C for Colt. Kind of really the only way you can tell a Colt bolt carrier group from another one. So let me get this wiped down and I'll be right back and have it taken apart and everything. Alrighty, so we will start the video off by discussing the carrier. I'll preface this with that I did reach out to Colt to get some of the information I'm going to discuss here today. Uh, one of the things they weren't very specific on was the actual steel they used to construct the carrier. He just said stainless steel. If this is a mil spec part that it's marketed as, I'm going to assume that it's 9310, but it also could be 8620, not 100% sure there. The finish here is gonna be a parkerized finish, and it is matte in color, very smooth, very uniform throughout, no high spots or anything like that. You will notice a couple spots like this, or over here on the gas key. Uh, those are basically, it's gasket material from when they did put the gas key on there. The inner part of the carrier and the gas key are chrome lined. It's a very smooth, very uniform surface. I did shine a pretty bright flashlight in there and could not visibly see any marks, scratches, nicks, or uh, non-finished surfaces. You do have forward assist serrations on the side there. And it is properly spaced in the rear. And on the gas key, it is properly staked, very much in Colt fashion. I will torque test this prior to installing it on my upper receiver. Your belly seems very nice and smooth, and all the rails are very uniform. Next up, let's talk about the bolt. So again, this is a part that Colt did not want to disclose the type of stainless steel that's used. They just said it's stainless steel. Again, since this is a mil spec part, I'm going to assume that it's Carpenter 158, and it also features that black parkerized finish. The extractor is a little bit shinier of a surface, as you can see there. And I did check the extractor spring, and they are using the Colt style or gold uh, extractor spring. The ejector does have a beveled edge. There were no type of markings on here to show that it was high pressure tested or magnetic particle inspected. I know at one point in time, Colt did put a white dot on here to uh, indicate that it was tested both both for HPT and MPI, but they no longer put that on there. But uh, when I reached out to Colt for information, they did say that everything is HPT and MPI tested. No issues with the lugs. Everything looks extremely uniform on there. And here is the cam pin. This is kind of a silver in color with kind of looks it's kind of got like a some black in there it's a very dark silver nothing really special here and the firing pin Colt did state that this was constructed of titanium and it is chrome plated no issues with the tip have any deformations on there looks very uniform Everything looks machined extremely well. If you guys have any questions on the Colt Bolt Carrier Group, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you guys for watching.